we've got another test here. We're doing uh, 100 watt 12 volt panels versus 200 watt 24 volt panels, which is better. Obviously you saw the thumbnail, you went through the intro and you wanna keep watching. Sounds good. We got 200 watt rich solar panels and then these 100 watt um, panels from Inverters R Us. I believe they're called Spartan is their brand line that they run and they look pretty good, right? Nice black frames and they look real sleek. Definitely real sleek. Visually, uh, you could do a little bit more with them. They don't quite stand out as much as those. Uh, as far as the wiring goes, doing something crazy and uh, running all of these in parallel. See here, I got a whole bunch of combiners combining those together. Over here, we got uh, Team Series. These guys are running series. See what happens there. As you know, I'm a I'm a fan of series connections, and we've been running a lot of different tests. We've done different configurations of 200 watt panels, and now we're uh, trying different things and just seeing seeing what works. So we're gonna run this test for a couple of days again. Uh, I'd say probably two days, and we're gonna track all the information on the uh, Victron equipment, and all that data is gonna be available to you on the uh, Victron VRM link that I will uh, have publicly. Uh, it'll be in the description down below. And you can check it out and uh, review minute by minute how these systems performed. And as a quick tease, uh, <laughs> it's not doing hardly anything. It was doing better earlier. That is what the situation looks like right now. Looks like Ceres is trying to hunt around for the best, uh, you know, the best, uh, best volts it can. And actually, it looks like it's actually in the morning, but it's pretty cloudy and overcast, so not much. Not much going on either way. And now I'm actually starting to run, uh, I figured why, why not do something with this power? And I know it looks a little Frankenstein here, maybe I'll clean it up. But I'm actually uh, running all of our office equipment off of this system now. So that's actually why it's going down. If you like this kind of content, if you like uh, solar experiments, RV off-grid solar equipment, kind of things uh give us a subscribe leave a comment down below love to hear from you helps the channel helps us uh, stick it to the man if you like doing that kind of thing if not that's cool too well it's a new morning after uh after a very dreary day yesterday and i'm seeing some interesting readings on these panels and i want you to see it this is not something i was expecting at all parallel in the morning that's usually when series does better but maybe it's all in the partial shade and every once in a while parallel will go to zero too i don't quite understand it and it could be a number of different reasons why that's going on maybe there's something wrong with my series wiring because we're getting 13 or no that's battery sorry yeah on the pv side 16 We're actually getting more voltage out of those little panels than the big ones. So that is interesting to me. Oh, now it jumps up. That is interesting. So now they're both hunting around. So that could mean a couple of things. One, uh, those uh, new panels, uh, the Spartan ones, those one, little 100 watt ones there are pretty darn good. Um, I actually am thinking about getting some 200 watt panels and then compare those head to head against uh, the ones I have there. The problem is they don't sell a 24 volt version. Um, but based on some of the data I'm finding here, I'm thinking of experimenting with maybe four of these 12 volt panels in series 
against uh, the other two panels in series. Because again, I, I do like to try and get that PV voltage up. Uh, I do think that's a net benefit, all things considered. I'm always on the hunt for uh, new panels and uh, providing the best for our customers. So if you got any uh, comments, questions, leave them down below, but we're gonna continue on with this test. Here we are at about 9.30 in the morning. And some people have been saying that um, the way the partial shade traverses across this test area could be leading to the uh, parallel side doing better than the series side because uh, there's more of this condition in the morning, but the same is not true in the evening. So what I may start doing is maybe stacking them uh, uh, so they don't self-shade each other, but maybe bring one set of panels forward or back, something like that. Coco's going in for an inspection. So anyway, I would probably, where the readings probably make the most sense is during midday when there's full sun. That's where we'll probably get more accurate differences. Because right now the parallel ones are, I think, beating it by about two to one, but it's also getting more more uh more sun all right here we go both arrays full sun what are your predictions now in the past when i was running the same exact panels they were performing very similar let's go take a look at the data and you can see there series is outperforming quite a bit almost 40 watts over it we're actually well 45 watts now something i want to highlight here is some people will say well amps i want i want more amps okay all right so that's why i like parallel because look i'm getting 16 amps in for my parallel right that's what i want all right and and look at series you only get four amps. That's garbage. Well, again, amps are not created equal. It's amps at a voltage. Watts is the number that really matters. Watts is a measurement of work. I was not really expecting it to be this dramatic. Get your PV voltage up there, people. We're not playing around. It's a little after 11. And look at that. We are somewhere around 60 watts advantage on the series that is astounding i mean that's uh what is that 20 percent huh. let's take a look outside here's the test setup still just want to make sure we're not uh pulling any shenanigans or anything this is that is what the test rig looks like still I was just thinking, as I was looking at these, I wonder if the black frames have anything to do with this. Because, yeah, they look good, but they also absorb more heat. And the hotter a solar panel gets, the less efficient it is. Maybe I'll see if I can find my temp gun and see if we can detect any real difference in the heat. Uh, one other quick observation that I just noticed, and I know I need to find my IR temp gun, but believe me, uh, this is the parallel controller and it is not really warm at all meanwhile this one has the series has considerably more heat and that is interesting now is that because more power because at this point we are what is that so almost 70 watts more power into this one so that is something but i think there might be something to the idea that um when there's a greater difference in voltage it generates more heat but at the end of the day it's about watts into the battery now we're stumbling around what is that almost 80 well it was i think we're close to 80 watts difference and yeah that one's a little bit warm that one's still cool let's see uh temperature difference oh it felt warmer than that definitely a difference let's go and uh see outside see if there's any difference in the panel temp all right i'll try not to uh 
Let's see, what are these trying to block it? This one is at 91, 92. Well, now the sun's coming out. Wow, 107, 108, huh. You know, I hate to say it, but I think lighter framed panels might be a net positive. Obviously, you know, the aesthetics are important. I mean, that's why some people choose uh, flexible panels, because they look better, but they perform horribly. However, I do believe I'm getting one in for review here in a little bit, and uh, subscribe if you want to see that one or be notified when we do that test. And I think we're going to do a different test on these two. I think I'm going to do a, uh, maybe I already said it, a, uh, well, I have six of these panels currently. We'll do a test of three of them and three of them and see uh, one set in series, one set in parallel. That way we're, we're comparing apples to apples. Right now this is kind of apples and oranges, but we're still learning something and that's fun. Well, I think uh, this about does it for this one. Uh, We've ran this experiment for two days, and uh, when we're done here, I'll go and show you some of the data. But in short, uh, in this case, these two panels here, they won pretty handedly, uh, especially when the sun was out. And when it was cloudy, it was kind of mixed. It was neck and neck there. But um, I think it definitely pays to get your volts, your PV volts over, uh, over that 30 40 volts you're going to have much better uh, power collection when you run all these 12 volt panels in parallel then your pv voltage is around 18. it just doesn't it's not good it's not good let's take a look i know enough about technology this is probably not the way i'm doing it but i'm trying to get this video out as quick as i can uh this is the waveform or not the waveform these are the graphs uh that is available to you in the uh, description below there'll be a link uh, you can access this. This represents the power generation for the day. So you can see, you know, even in, we ended up having partial clouds through most of the day here. But in the beginning part, we had, uh, so yeah, series was doing, or the top one is parallel, the bottom one is series. So you can see the amp differences right away. That's the yellow lines. Those are what's peaking at 18 amps into the battery. And on the series side, we're pushing 23 amps. That's a huge difference. And then of course, ultimately in the Watts side here, we're doing four, or no, we're doing 243 versus 316. It's, uh, and then over time, kind of where it really matters here is uh, parallel only put 1.16 kilowatt hours in and series put in 1.35 kilowatt hours and yesterday was pretty much a wash uh, it was mostly cloudy and rainy it was horrible so like I said I think that'll about do it for this one uh, if you got any comments questions leave them down below if you got ideas for other solar battery experiments you want me to run like I said I've already got one idea uh, I think we're going to do more with those 100 watt panels because they're so popular. People do so much with them and I'm all about making the best decisions with, the, with what we have. Uh, and that's really what this is all about. So if that interests you at all, uh, give us a subscribe. That'd be great. Until next time, we'll see you later, I guess.